What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Got a little unboxing for you folks today. It's not a NECA figure this time. It is a horror pack unboxing for August 2021. Uh, yeah, man. So I hope you're all having a great day. If you're not familiar with what horror pack is, it is a monthly service. It is a blind box. You get, uh, I think, four Blu-rays. Excuse me. I don't know why I said that. I think I know it's four Blu-rays. Um, one of them is a horror pack exclusive. It's like 25 bucks. Dude, ship to your house, man. For four Blu-rays, that ain't bad. Let's see if you break it down. That's what? Seven times four is 28. So it's not even seven dollars a piece. So six times four is 24. So it's like six bucks and change per per movie, and they're brand new. One of them's an exclusive. So it's a great way to build your uh, collection of physical media, and it's also a really good way to discover horror movies you may not have seen before. Because oftentimes you'll get like. One major release, one horror pack exclusive, and then like two, uh, I don't know what to call them, uh, like, like, you know, smaller budget movies. I've gotten tons of things that I like through this company, so, but go check them out. They only have a limited supply of it, I know that. I know that they don't have just unlimited numbers of them available, so I like how they pack their stuff. I say this every month. Box, inside the box is a bubble wrap so I mean it's a it's protected a lot of places don't go the extra mile with that and I don't really appreciate that but let's see what we got in this box this month don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a like and a comment what movies have you been buying lately are you a horror pack subscriber I guess you're probably not a subscriber if you're watching my video but whatever this stuff's fun all right number one bam what we got here I actually don't have this I like it when I don't get when I get movies I don't have it's called the devil inside I'm not sure how I feel about these movies. They, they actually they freak me out a little bit because they're about stuff that kind of is at least real to me. It's still real to me. Number two. Oh, I was trying to stick it out, pull it out a quick like. Boom. What is this? Oh, I can't even read that. All right, it's called Come True. What a weird logo. Never even heard of this one before. Looking for an escape from her recurring nightmares. 18-year-old Sarah submits to a university sleep study, but soon realizes she's become the conduit to a frightening new discovery. Dreams, twists, and nightmares come true in this mind-altering new work of science fiction from Anthony Scott. From Anthony Scott Burns, excuse me. Uh, that haunts the space between wakefulness and sleep. Come true is an unforgettable cinematic dream well worth the submission. Well worth the submersion, excuse me. Man, I should turn the light on in here. I can't read this guy. It's all it's super dark on the back. <laughs> um, that's cool, though. I like weird sci-fi sleep horror stuff. This is cool. I'll check this out. Nice. Raven Banner does a lot of stuff that I like, so, I mean, shoot, this could be pretty good. Who knows? Got two more. Let's go. I think this one... Okay, I bet you this one's the exclusive. I've opened it up at least to know. I feel bam it is <laughs> yo this whole month might be worth it just for this movie <laughs> it's called don't fuck in the woods <laughs> um I'll say this if there's not boobs in this movie I'm gonna this is a complete ripoff uh after the stress and mental anguish of finals, Alex and her girlfriend Jane trek with new friends into the woods for a little rest and relaxation. As the group begins to unwind, something in the dark has discovered a new and intoxicating scent and a thirst that can't be quenched. I wonder what that scent is. Butt, maybe? Yo, this is going to be awesome. This is going on a short list of things I need to watch ASAP. All right, last but not least in this, this, this month's four pack. Shut, 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 shut. Oh, I don't think I actually have this one yet. Cloverfield, a movie that I've seen. I don't think I own this yet. This is actually a really good movie. Um, mm, what's your favorite... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Found footage movie. I think Cloverfield's way up there, but I think Blair Witch is still king. Blair Witch is still one of those movies that, like, if you watch it today and you haven't seen it in a long while, it's not going to scare you if you've, you know, if you're, if you've already seen it a bunch of times, but... It still holds up, in my opinion. That's not a bad box of movies. Okay, so The Devil Inside, Cloverfield, two major releases. We got uh, Come True, which I'm not 
I've never heard of it, but it sounds kind of interesting to me. And dude, I'll take this one based on the title. Don't in the woods, man. That's awesome. What a ridiculous title. On the back it says that somebody from Dread Central called it the best movie title that's ever been created. I'd go, I'd, it's up in the top five or ten, I'd imagine. I'd, I'll tell you this, man. I do hate it whenever you get a movie that's low budget like this and the cover art is just absolutely horrible. Like, look at that, dude. You can't even tell what that is. Like, I just, it, I don't understand that. I mean, look at the back here. So, as far as the movie's concerned, the movie could be fine. I don't, I don't have any idea. Uh, I will let you know when I watch it, though. But look at this, dude. Like, come on, man. Put put better better work into your presentation. Uh, let's see what the disc looks like. And the disc looks just as bad. I mean, it's just pretty much a, a bootleg, I'd imagine, right? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't care. That honestly does not bother me. Um, my only concern is is that the the quality of the artwork, you know, if that's if that tells you what's you know what you're in for. So they've got 62 horror pack exclusive movies. I've got a bunch of them. I've been doing horror pack for hell. I probably have two years worth of them at this point. More more good than bad. I'll tell you that much. A lot of places can't claim that. But uh, horror pack solid, dude. I dig it. And I wish they would sponsor me, so if y'all see this up there at Horror Pack, holla at your boy, man. I'm going to be doing big things one of these days, and you're going to wish you would. Uh, <laughs> you know, but they're like, sure, guy, whatever. Fast forward 14, 18, 20 months from now, they're going to be like, dang, right over there killing it. No, I'm just playing it, but I don't care at all. But uh, yeah, Horror Pack's fire, man. I really enjoy this stuff. I hope you like this video. I hope you go subscribe to Horror Pack. Uh, help keep physical media at the front of everybody's minds and uh, build your horror collection get to see more movies this is a win-win-win man horror packs dope uh, sorry I'm tired man I got I got I got a lot of work to do still so <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here man I'll see y'all next time hopefully we'll have something awesome for you actually I know we'll have something awesome for you if you have any suggestions for movie reviews uh, NECA figures you'd like me to unbox and check out shoot me a comment down below and let me know and I'll be more than happy to take care of that for you all right have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.